Hey guys, my name is Dylan and this channel is geared towards helping you grow as a video creator. On my channel, I have quite a lot of editing tutorials and so when I screen record, I often need to hear that audio that's playing out of my computer while the computer is recording that same audio. So we're gonna jump right into learning how to set this up. No beating around the bush. Step one, you're gonna need to download a free software called Black Hole. I left a link in the description, so click that. Head down to where you see Download Installer. You're gonna click that and enter your information and your email. After you enter all of your info and press this button here, you'll get an email with the download link. It may take a couple minutes for the email to go through, but once you get it, click the link and start the process of installing the software. Select Black Hole 16 Channel when you're given these three options. After it's installed, you're gonna open up Audio MIDI Setup. And this tab is super cool because you can do things like connect different Bluetooth speakers and have them play at the same time. Sometimes when I'm traveling, I'll have a friend plugged into the headphone jack while I'm listening on Bluetooth headphones. So this is definitely worth playing around with. So for us today, we're gonna head down to this plus button and create an aggregate device. Let's rename this so you know what to click when it's time to screen record and still hear the audio. Double click and we'll call it custom input. You can name it whatever you want though. Select black hole 16 channel here, then head down to the plus button and we're gonna make another device this time, but select multi output device. I'll rename this custom output. With this, you need to select built in output or iMac speakers, whatever shows up for you. And then you'll select black hole 16 channel. You need to make sure that black hole 16 channel is below built in output. If it's on top, you can just deselect it and then select it again once it's on the bottom. Also double check that the master device is built-in output or iMac speakers. Final steps here, when you're ready to record, you'll need to open your system preferences, head to sound, output, and select that custom output. Then open QuickTime Movie Player. If you just right click on the icon, we can set everything up that way, but you can also go to file, new screen recording, and then you're going to hit options on this little panel. And you need to make sure that custom input is selected. This is important. If not, it won't work. Hit record, and now your audio will record your screen and the audio that's playing, and let you hear the audio as well. Okay, yes, it will not pick up you speaking or anything yes, either. It's solely it. recording the audio from what's playing on okay, the computer. Yes, Rename that screen recording by clicking at the top, and you're set. If I helped you out today, help me out by pressing the thumbs up button and leaving a comment below. I would more than appreciate it. And consider subscribing to learn how to become a better creator and I will see you in the next one.